five years ago, you did not know where life was going to take you at that time. You promised to love, honor, and cherish one another through all things. And life has surely brought both wonderful blessings and difficult challenges over the years. But here you are today, having fulfilled those vows to love, honor, and cherish that you've made to each other in your wedding day. And God is smiling. As you celebrate here today, and as you reflect back over the years as husband and wife, do you now wish to reaffirm the vows that you took five years ago? Sure. Why not? Sure. <coughs> really? Please face each other and join hands. Joe, will you continue to have Amanda as your wife and continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? Oh. <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, sorry. Do you reaffirm your love for her and will you love, honor, and cherish her in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, for better or worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? Amanda, will you continue to have Joe as your husband and continue to live in this happy and loving marriage? I do. Do you reaffirm your love for him? And will you love, honor, and cherish him in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, for better or worse, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for as long as you both shall live? Some couples decide on their reaffirmations to exchange rings. Would you like to exchange rings? Yes. Again, when you first joined hands and hearts five years ago, you did not know where life was going to take you. You promised to love, honor, and cherish one another through all things. And as we said earlier, life has sure brought wonderful blessings and difficult tribulations. Therefore, you have fulfilled your promise, and as I told you, God is smiling. So as you come here today to reaffirm your wedding vows, and as you reflect back over the years as husband and wife, do you now reaffirm the vows that you took five years ago? If so, repeat after me. Today, after five years of marriage, Today, after five five years of marriage I ask you to continue to take me as your husband and wife. I ask you to continue to take me as your husband. Your wife. <laughs> you have stood by my side through sorrow and joy. Whatever. You have stood, stood by, by my side, side by through sorrow, sorrow and joy, <laughs> triumph and defeat, triumph and defeat, defeat, sickness and health, sickness and health. And for this, I am so grateful. And for this, I am so grateful. I thank God for the gift of you. I thank God for the gift of you. And I thank you. I thank you. With great joy, I pledge my love and commitment. With great joy, I pledge my love and commitment to you on our wedding day. Our family and friends first showed us how to love. Our family and friends first showed us how to live. How to love. love. Helped us to grow. Helped help us to grow. grow. And supported us when we found each other. Supported us when we found each other. I hope they will continue to love. Hope, hope they will continue, continue to love. And support us. And support us. As we love and support them. As we love and support them. Therefore, I am delighted today. Therefore, I am delighted today. In the presence of our family and friends. In the presence of our families and friends. To reaffirm my commitment to you. To reaffirm my commitment to you. And once again, and once again, to promise to love you, promise to love you, honor you, honor you, and comfort you, and comfort you, in sickness and in health, sickness and in health, for richer or poor, for richer or poor, for better or worse, for better or worse, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. Now we're going to exchange the rings. Okay. Do you, Joe, continue to take Amanda as your loving wife? I do. Will you continue to love her, honor her, comfort and treasure her, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I shall do my best. <laughs> Amanda, do you take Joe as your loving husband? Do I? Put it on yet. Not yet. Sorry. Jumping the gun. Next. Will you continue to take him as your loving husband? Yes, ma'am. Will okay. you continue to love him, honor him, comfort and treasure him, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? Joe and Amanda, on your wedding day, you exchanged rings, and as a symbol of, as a symbol of the never-ending circle that symbolizes the eternal quality of God. Hang on. Thank you. Thank much. you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> unending strength and unending love. 
May you always wear your rings as a reminder of your wedding vows to each other and your commitment to continue to live in unity, love, and happiness. Joe, please place your gift of ring on Amanda's hands with these words. With this ring, with this I, ring I renew my pledge, I renew my pledge of, love and commitment. of love and commitment. Place your gift in the ring. <laughs> With this ring, with this ring, I renew my pledge. I renew my pledge of love and commitment. Of love and commitment. Okay. God bless these rings that the two exchange them in love on their wedding day. Keep Amanda and Joe. I'm sorry. Keep Amanda and Joe safe in the circle of your protection and love. Marriage is a commitment to learning to care for one another in mutually fulfilling ways. It is not an act, but a long, a lifelong relationship always in the making. Marriage deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, and new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When people, people pledge their love and care for one each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique to themselves which binds them closer than any spoken or written word. Marriage is a promise in the hearts of two people who love each other, and the potential of marriage requires a lifetime to fulfill. So go with me in prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today to say thank you for the opportunity to be here. Lord, we ask that you just continue to bless Joe and Amanda as they continue on with their life. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity of being here with family and friends. And we thank you for them, for their arrivals here. And, and Lord, we ask that you get them back home safely. Once again, Lord, we ask you to just be with each and every one of us as we continue with our path with you, Lord. And again, we, just, we ask that you bless Amanda and Joe. In your name we pray. Amen. John Amanda, today you have renewed the promises and vows that you've made to each other on your wedding day. You have symbolized the renewal of the marriage union by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and the exchanging of rings. And it is my pleasure that I conclude this ceremony of renewing the vows of marriage that joins you forever, or joins you and forever binds you as husband and wife. Please celebrate this renewal of vows with an affection, sign of affection in your necklace. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> tears or sweat? And I'm the mommy, so I get to oh, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it's tears. Okay. I get to touch you. Kelly. Kelly. Get some sweat off. Mama. Kelly. Did you cry? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> That's wet. Thank you. I just told you. Thank you. Alright, who wants to hug? Smells like I got this. I thought he meant drinks. That too. I thought that was a new kind of shot.